Hello, welcome to SK Conversions and this brief tutorial on how to use the VB Full Air 4C air suspension system. Once the system is installed into your vehicle, you should have a remote that looks something like this. Now this is what commands the system to do what you want it to do. Now if we look at the control unit, we will see in the middle there's two blue lights that are shaped like the vehicle. This indicates the operation of the front and rear axles. They are selectable between front or rear. Front or rear. That's so you can make manual adjustments by pressing the up or down button for setting a height in a static position manually. As soon as you move, that position will automatically reset itself. Now the default state for the suspension system is the factory height of the vehicle. Now this is set by the manufacturer and based on the measurements that are prescribed in the installation of the, of the system to the vehicle, that cannot be changed. And if it was to be changed, it would invalidate your warranties. Now the default state you should have no other lights illuminated anywhere else on the control unit other than these two in the middle. So when I talk about going to default state that means the suspension is returning to its factory setting. So on the top we have top left this is your auto level button so if you have opted to have this system fitted to your vehicle we'll come to that function at the end. The S, that's your sport setting. We have an off-road setting and a parking height setting. In the middle we have the two head symbols here. These are customizable height settings that you can set manually by using the up and down arrows and selecting which axle to control. Press and hold until the remote beeps at you this then sets that set point and each time you press it the vehicle will return to that position. This can be used for unloading and loading of the vehicle, emptying of water tanks for example, or any other reason you may have. Now these two customizable settings, as soon as the vehicle begins to move, they will reset back to the default height of the vehicle. You cannot drive the vehicle in either of these two settings. The sport mode, much like the default mode, is a drivable height setting. Now by that I mean you can do road speeds with it. So whatever you can do at factory height setting you can do in sport setting. Now to know that the system is in sport setting, that light, once you press the button, that will be illuminated blue permanently to, in to indicate that it is in sport mode. When it flashes, as soon as you press it and it flashes, that's telling you that the system is adjusting itself to the setting you've just asked for. Similarly, if we go down to parking height, all the time it's flashing, it's in it's in progress. You will see that the arrow here is also flashing. This is telling you that the system is currently dropping its height, reducing its height to get to parking mode. In parking mode the remote will permanently beep until you turn the ignition off. When you start driving in this height you will be able to do a few miles per hour before the system then automatically resets itself to the default height. This is in order to protect and preserve the suspension components and prevent damage. To manually select your default height, if you have a button that is illuminated blue, press it again, the light will deilluminate and the system is now working itself to factory default height setting. You can see in this instance the up arrow is flashing so the system is raising its height. Once this arrow stops flashing and no other lights are illuminated 
that means the vehicle has reached its default height. Now you can drive at road speeds in default height and sport mode and you can change between sport mode and default height mode whilst on the move. You cannot change between these two modes, off-road and parking mode, whilst you are in motion. Similarly, you can't change to these preset modes whilst in motion. These are static settings only and these will need to be set when you are below the necessary speed or ideally when you are stationary. The off-road mode, so the system is now working itself to off-road position. Now, I've triggered a warning. So if the system has developed a fault, more often than not it will be over temperature if you have been going up and down the height settings as I just have uh, for a prolonged period, you'll get this error come up here. Flashing red triangle. This is telling you that the system is now in error mode. And it has done this to protect itself, so to prevent damage to the components of the system, namely the compressor in this instance. The next time you turn the ignition off and stop the vehicle and turn it back on again, this code will reset itself and it won't come back on unless the parameters of the error are met again. So if the fault state is still there, this will flash, a flash again. If this is on and flashing all the time and you can't do anything about it, you will need to contact us and we can help troubleshoot it. Will likely mean we will need to see the vehicle at the workshop here if we can't help you remotely. So I'm going to turn the ignition off. Now you'll notice when I turn the ignition off and remove the key, the control panel remains active, so the system remains active for a few minutes after you've shut the vehicle off. But it is it will receive a fresh ignition signal the moment you turn it off and turn it back on again. So as soon as I turn the ignition on, the red light stops, start the engine back up again, and the vehicle uh, the system carries on to the setting it was trying to get to. Now if for whatever reason it doesn't carry on, simply press the setting button again that you wanted and the system should engage itself. Now we're at full height of the off-road mode. Now off-road mode is a drivable setting up to approximately 22 miles an hour. So once you get to 22 miles an hour or above the system will automatically disengage and go back to its default factory height. And you will see an arrow flash telling you what the system is doing. And then once these buttons stop flashing, it means the system is in its factory height mode. Now this next step is quite important. If you have to take the vehicle in for any sort of work, take it to the dealership or any other garage and you need to have servicing done, tyres changed, any sort of work that requires the vehicle to go up onto a car lift, this spanner button must be engaged. This is service mode. This disables the system and prevents the sensors on the system from making adjustments to the suspension that could result in damage to components. Now if this button is not pressed and the vehicle is lifted off of the ground, the system will try and correct itself. If the vehicle is being lifted, it will think that it's too high and it will le release all the air from the system, or work to release all the air from the system. If you then put the vehicle back on the ground, there is a chance that the air springs may be pinched and therefore damaged. So you must engage service mode any time the vehicle goes into the workshop. Now it's advisable that you do this when you drop the vehicle into any workshop. Do not rely on the workshop that you're using to remember you have air suspension fitted. Obviously tell them, but don't rely on it. So make sure that's engaged. To take it back out of service mode, simply press the button again and the system will carry on from its last known position. 
Now the last setting, which is the auto level on the top left here, this is the only setting that doesn't work all the time the engine is running. Now this is a static only position. So we will turn the ignition, turn the engine off, but leave the key in the ignition so that the accessories function is active. This then means we can press auto level and a few minutes later you can see here we've got up and down being active so the vehicle is working out based on its pre-settings from installation how it can make itself level and that will be a case of adjusting all four corners independently. All the time these buttons are flashing the system is thinking and doing its action once that stops flashing the system has set itself it believes itself to be level and you can then remove the key from the ignition the system is now locked and frozen in that location when you are finished assuming this is a fitted to a camper van or well for whatever reason that you've used auto level turn your ignition back on and start your engine you will see that this button is still engaged now you could theoretically drive with the system still in auto level but the, the control unit will bleep at you and make a noise to alert you to the fact that the system is not currently activated so in technically the system much like service mode is frozen it will not adapt itself as the vehicle moves in auto level so press the button again it disengages auto level and the sensors on the system will read where each position, uh, where each corner of the van is positioned and it will adjust the suspension accordingly. In this instance, we're going straight back to default factory height. So we have one or more of the suspension corners of the vehicle being raised back to factory height. And obviously this will differ depending on the terrain you're on. Um, it may take longer or lesser time depending on what the extremity of the adjustments the auto level system needs to make. The last thing to cover in this video are the items in the engine bay, uh, specifically the emergency air valves which is an optional function uh, available for the air suspension system here. This allows you to manually inflate or deflate each of the four corners of the suspension. Uh, useful if you find the vehicle is without power or the air system itself has developed a fault and you need to get the vehicle onto a recovery truck, something similar, then it allows you to manually inflate to raise or lower the suspension. Next to that is the main 40 amp fuse for the uh, that powers the system and next to that is the small 7.5 amp fuse which controls the uh, computer system of the vehicle. If the vehicle um, or the controller for the suspension finds itself uh, frozen, won't respond or doesn't do anything, um, take this 7.5 amp fuse out for 10 seconds, put it back in, it's, that's a hard reset of the system and it should pick back up um, where it left off and continue to operate. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions please do contact us and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.